Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with a magnetically detachable wallet case for iPhone 7 Plus by the company Berkeley. This is handmade out of genuine Turkish leather, quite nicely made, and as I said, we do have the detachable inner phone case, which is excellent. We also have quite a big capacity here for cards, and unlike many cases of this type, this actually closes quite well with its magnetic clasp, even when you are filled with cards and cash, so that's definitely a great feature of this. Let's look a little further at this case on my iPhone 7 Plus in matte black. Looking at the construction of this Berkeley case, what we have here is a nice quality leather on the exterior and on the interior we have a soft flannel type lining. This is not a suede but a flannel but it still feels very nicely made. We do have a detachable inner phone case which is excellent, very convenient. And we have four card slots and an additional slide pocket here as well as a very nice strong magnetic clasp keeping the entire thing closed. Looking at our interior phone case, we have a plastic interior. This feels like a polycarbonate. It's quite a rigid plastic, um, and it actually feels reasonably protective for this sort of enclosure. The exterior, we have a panel of leather that has been attached here. It has a very nice look to it, and of course it matches the leather on the exterior of the case. Putting your phone in the case is quite easy. Simply slide it into the one side, and then put it on the other, clip it right in. Looking at the fit of it on my iPhone 7 Plus, you can see we do have a small amount of lip on here. This is not a huge lip, but it is definitely a protective lip and should help protect your phone in the event of any kind of a fall. This case does not have anything resembling military drop test standard protection, but having any kind of a lip on here is definitely uh, better than simply having no case at all. In addition, do keep in mind I have a tempered glass screen protector on here right now. This is OtterBox's Alpha Glass. So uh, without a tempered glass screen protector on here, we would have even more lip. But as it is, this is really not bad, particularly for a wallet style interior case. Often those have pretty much zero lip and this one is not that way. Looking at our port openings, the lightning port opening is sufficiently large to accommodate many, if not most, third party lightning cables. In addition, our speaker and microphone areas are sufficiently protected here by the case, at least for light duty use. Going around to the sides, we have a little bit of grip with this case. I wouldn't say that it's grippy, but it has a tiny bit of grip to it. It's not overly slippery, I guess you could say. Our volume up and down buttons have a nice click, and they're about medium to press. Not super easy, but not very hard either. Your opening here for the mute switch is a little bit on the narrow side. I don't have any issue in accessing it, but people with very large fingers might. Going around here to the power button, it's about medium to press, but there's not really a click, which is a little bit sad. Um, I prefer to have uh, clicky buttons. This one doesn't really have a click, although it works just fine. It's just kind of silent, so uh, there is that. Going around to the back here, this leather panel on the back looks very nice, has a really quite nice executive feel. We do have the little Berkeley logo down here. I believe it's a bison. Going over here to our camera opening, you do have sufficient protection here for the protruding camera. It's not tons of protection, but it is definitely enough. If this is laid on a flat surface, you're gonna have enough protection for your camera. There's no issue with flash photography, either uh, with uh, this case on, or um, actually taking pictures through the wallet case. There's an opening there. Um, it works fine just as long as you make sure that this is correctly oriented in the outer wallet case. So in terms of functionality, really quite nice. I do like the nice firm fit that we have on here. That is really quite nice. It makes your phone feel very secure. This is not gonna have a whole lot in the way of drop protection, but it definitely is gonna give you some protection, which is good. Putting the inner phone case into the wallet case is extremely easy. We have a very nice strong magnet here and it goes in very nice and very firmly. Once attached, it's really not going anywhere. I mean, you can shake it. If you shake it really, really hard, it's eventually going to come off. But honestly, this is one of the better magnets that I've seen in this type of a case. Another nice thing which is good about this is that we have a media stand function. So you can uh, put this into quite a nice, quite stable media stand for watching TV or uh, reading books or whatever it is that you want to do with your phone. I think that that's great, particularly with a large phone like the iPhone 7 Plus. This is really quite a nice feature. 
One thing about the little latch here is that you can fold it back and it will attach out of the way, which is nice. So you don't have to have it um, flopping over onto the front of the phone. In terms of our wallet functionality, you can actually fit quite a lot of cards and cash in here. And unlike with some wallet cases, this actually closes reasonably well when you have quite a few cards in it. So as I said before, we do have four card slots. Don't worry, this is not my real credit card. None of these are. I always get comments from people who are worried about that, that I'm exposing my credit card numbers online and promise you I am not. So there's four cards. We can also put a few more cards here in our slide pocket. And let's put a little bit of cash in here as well, just for demonstration purposes. So I think we've got four cards here, two cards there, and a bill. Closing it up still closes just fine. Yeah, it's not the thinnest thing in the world, but you actually put quite a lot of stuff in there, and those are cards and cash that you don't have to carry in an additional wallet. So really not bad at all. I do like the fact that we still have a nice closure here with our magnetic clasp. That is often not the case with this type of uh, wallet case. Often, once you actually put any cards in here, it won't close nicely, uh, or you won't be able to use your actual clasp on here. That is not the case with the Burke case. Looking at the exterior of the case and at the quality of the leather and stitching, everything is really quite good. No issue with the stitching at all. The leather has a nice smooth feel in the hand. Feels very good. It is the type of leather that is going to show marks and scuffs relatively easily. Um, I tend to think that that means that it's showing character, uh, but if you are the type of person that's going to bother, then you might be a little bit concerned about that. As you can see over here, here we do already have like a little uh, mark over here and there's a little tiny mark over here as well and as far as where you put your credit cards in that area tends to mark up just because the cards as they go in tend to whack things. So as you can see, we do have some marks there. This is very common with this sort of a case, and I don't really think it's an issue, but it's definitely something that you should be aware of. Looking at the back of the wallet portion of the case, we have a nice feature here where you can use the camera even when this is inside the wallet case. So that is good. You just have to make sure that you have things properly aligned because if the case inside is not aligned properly, you're going to be covering up part of the camera and it's definitely going to affect your camera functionality. But other than that, it all works fine. There's no flash effect if you have it um, arranged properly. However, there is a little bit of an issue with the camera area in this case. We do have um, kind of a wobbly area along the top here where it goes over the camera. The rest of the case is actually quite firm, probably because of the metal plates that are inside and the polycarbonate. See, um, they're really quite rigid and not going anywhere, but this area up next to where the camera is is a bit on the flimsy feeling side. I really think that they should do something to improve that. So I would say that this is one of the weak areas of the case, but other than that, it's really quite nice, has a nice feel to it, and has got a lot of good functionality. This does come with only a 30-day warranty, which I find a little bit concerning as well, probably because it's a smaller company. Um, so, you know, you do need to be aware of that. So if you have any issues with this case, do try to figure them out within that initial 30 days. But overall, it's a good case. Um, and uh, it's not too highly priced for a leather case for your iPhone. So there's definitely a lot of good things about the Berkeley case. Again, we've been looking at the magnetic detachable wallet case for iPhone 7 Plus by Berkeley in burnished tan leather. This is also available in an antique coffee leather, a Rolex black leather, and an antique camel leather color. This retails for $68.60 and is available directly from Berkeley as well as from Amazon. I will put links below where you can find out more about it. Many thanks to the kind folks at Berkeley for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on accessories for iPhone 7 Plus, iPad Pro, and Samsung Galaxy S7, and I would love to have your support. 
Again, this is Kristen with the Berkley Magnetic Detachable Wallet Case for iPhone 7 Plus in burnished leather. Have a fantastic day.